this. Angel. You know why I don't want to miss this appointment? Because I don't know what will happen to me after now. But if I need him now, he'll give me the assurance that he's going to step in tonight, tomorrow. He's going to step in Monday, step in the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. I pray for God. He's going to give God. He's going to come on.
covenant. The favor of the Lord is spread. It's spread for those of us who recognize that under the common symbols of life and life, that Christ has died, that Christ has risen, that Christ is coming again. The Father, the cross of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, may we consecrate our lives afresh to Christian obedience and ask Him for the grace to do and to bear this one year. Let us pray. God in Christ who meets us here. If there is no need to welcome you, for you are the one in position to welcome us. You are the host. But now you become our me. You feed us with your divine self. For in Jesus, who declared in John's Gospel, chapter 6, my flesh is real food, and my blood is pure drink. Come, oh God. We are the people who are offended and people who offend. Give us the humility to say we are sorry and to make amends. For God we recognize that this thing called church demands restoration. To go the extra mile. To do all that's humanly possible. Make sure that the spiritual well-being of a member is preserved. Father, we thank you that you do not wish to exclude you into it, you wish to include. For we were Gentile gods, cut off from the common God of Israel. But in Jesus Christ, when the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, the holies of holies was exposed. And all those things that restricted access to your presence. They were removed. Now, God, prepare us to receive you at this day, for you have yet turned to meet us here. We praise you, bless you, and we thank you. Amen. Jesus will declare the whole lifestyle of the God of God. One will hear my voice and open the door. We are coming and suffer them and they to suffer with me. It has come unto me all you who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly spirit, you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and burden is light. Ask for your ears upon me. I care. For you. Jesus, on the night of his betrayal, having eaten the Passover slave of him, instituted this mystery of his broken body and of his good blood. His words declare, as often as you do so, do it in remembrance. Listen now, not to the words of Lord, but to the words of God in Christ. So we come by the Apostle Paul to the saints of God. Before I receive you, the Lord, the teaching that I pass on to you, that the Lord Jesus, the night which was betrayed, took bread, that he had given thanks, broke the bread, came into his disciples say, this is my body, which is broken to you, as often as you eat it, 
disciples in the house of Emmaus, barely come to see it in the breaking of the bread. Now, oh God, we thank you for this prayer and for this cup. The wheat gathered from the field, the grapes gathered from the land. Jesus is present to us by faith under the auspices of bread and wine. So we pray that by your sanctifying spirit you would descend upon these gifts and in mind the bread which we break that comes to us the body of Christ and the cup which we bless that comes upon this which the blood of Christ by eating and drinking may our souls be replenished for we are been privileged to partake of spiritual food our journey after the fall. Praise you. Be blessed with you. Amen. I'm so glad. If you truly and earnestly repent of your sins, if you are in love and charity with your neighbor, if you are resolved to live in life following the commandments of God, all the henceforth in his holy grace, extraordinary faith to take this communion sacrament to your comfort both the grace to come to this sacred table, not because we must, but because we may become not to testify that we are righteous, but that we said, Son, love our Lord Jesus the Christ, our desires of being true disciples. We come not because we are strong, but because we are weak, we come. Not because we have any claim on heaven's reward, because of our frailty and sin. Stand in constant need of heaven's mercy and help. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. So that means this is a spiritual meal. If you are a Christian, you are invited to his table. If you are a Dominican, your local assembly, you are free to partake in the Lord's table. For he says, My flesh is real food, my blood is real drink. And whosoever shall eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood shall have life within them. And he promises that he will raise. That was enough on the last day. Reverend Samson, Reverend Gil, would you join me at the team? Because of 